Hi everyone, today we are going to be uh, writing an equation of a translated ellipse. Alright, and the problem that we have says, what is the standard form of an ellipse with vertices 1 comma 6 and 1 comma 16 and one focus at 1 comma 14? And then we are going to sketch the ellipse. Well, if you notice, what's in common with all these points? the number 1 and it's an x value. So the first thing I'm going to do just to um, kind of help show this point is plot our points. So 1 comma 6, so write 1 up 4, 5, 6, put my dot right there and then 1, 16, 12, 16 right here right here you notice these dots are lining up vertically and our focus is at 1 14 so right here you notice all the dots line up vertically so that tells me that the major axis of this ellipse is vertical okay now the value of 2a is the distance between each of the vertices. Well, if this is at 1 comma 6 and this is at 1 16, the difference between 16 and 6 is 10. So 2a, oops, let me undo that. 2a equals 10, so that means that the value of a is 5. So what does that mean? That means that 5 units up and 5 units down will give us our center. So there's 4 and 5. Right here will be our center and the coordinates of our center is going to be 1 comma 11. Okay. Now, we're going to start our formula for our ellipse. Uh, translated ellipse with a vertical uh, major axis. The formula is this. X minus H quantity squared over b squared plus y minus k quantity squared over a squared. Now I'm just going to draw a blank, oh, equals 1, one of these. Now we know that a is 5, so a squared is 25, okay? Now your center is always at h comma k, so h is the 1, k is the 11. So right now we have already got x minus h, so minus 1, quantity squared, plus y minus k, k is 11, so y minus 11, quantity squared. Now, the only thing we have to find here is our b squared. Okay, now how can we find B? Well, we know with an ellipse that C squared equals A squared minus B squared. Okay, A is 5, so A squared is 25. What's the value of C? Well, C is the distance from the center to the foci. 
All right. If this is at 11 and this is 14, 14 minus 11 is 3. So 3 squared equals 5 squared minus b squared. 3 squared is 9, so 9 equals 25 minus b squared. I'm going to add b squared to both sides, so 9 plus b squared equals 25. Subtract 9, b squared equals 25 minus 9. All right, so b squared equals 16. Square root of 16 is 4. So b equals 4. Now, b squared is 16, so we can put our 16 here. We've got our equation. Okay, now, to finish graphing our ellipse, go from the center, move right four units, okay, and then move left four units. Okay, now I am not perfect at this, in fact I'm horrible at drawing, so my ellipses usually end up looking like footballs. But if I connect my vertices and my covertices, I get my ellipse. Now, I only have one focal point plotted. So what I need to do is I need to move from my center down three units. One, two, three, and plot my other focal point. All right, so there's our graph. All we have to do is if we wanted coordinates, just look on your grid and get your coordinates. But all we were asked to find was the standard form of the equation, which we have, and to plot our ellipse. So enjoy these. You can do this.